Uh, this is this is sort of part two. You know, the information just so fast. But you know, you know what a scatter plot is of units of energy, which are units of consciousness that are all experiencing themselves simultaneously, and they're all experiencing something that's different from each other, but we can all learn through each other what they've learned and what they can learn through us. Right? So I always sort of looked at the, the universe as a one big classroom. Because we're all connected to each other, right? So there's what I experience, and then there's what you experience. It may not be the same thing. So I try and keep it simple. So I, I, that's why as a child, there are, there are certain things that I do not move on when you are on a spiritual battlefield. Because I realize that you can look like whatever you look like, and you can talk the same language that I speak. And then I'm going to go, oh, you know the same thing I know. No, because of what I've experienced that informed me of that. Wow, cool. You've experienced the same things I have. But I know better than that. And that's called the war of deception because it means just because you look like that, just because you can talk like that, doesn't mean you're on the same side. You could be working for the AI. And how would I know? Just because you look like who you look like and just because you talk the talk, walk the walk. Remember the old saying, what a Trojan horse is? That's why, sadly, as a child, when somebody called me a lone wolf, right, when you are basically a special forces team, it would be anal analogous to like this. Um, and I'll just use the way that they present in their movies stories. You know how they break movies into genres, right, like sci-fi, fantasy, mysteries, drama, action, adventure, romance, Okay, so we live in those stories, right? Because you realize you're a creator being and you got a, an enormous amount of imagination. And I did a video once on how we can interchange the characters in the landscape simultaneously within the energy of our own mind. It is constantly rearranging the deck chairs at such a high rate of speed that the AI can't keep up with that. That's why it's, it doesn't know where we are because the vortex that we spin as a monopole is faster than a two-pole, a binary system. That's just that's just the way it works. That means that you're running a high speed magnet, which is a high speed drive, which means you're not going to be able to protect what love creates if you're not running faster than the enemy is. Right. So now we're into encryption. Now we're into math codes. Now we're into the highest level of mathematicians. Right. Which are math codes, which is the way the math works with a simple calculator that's built in. Right. At the end of the day, that's what it is. That's why I remember Terrence McKenna, uh, j these things are just so simple. Why do rocks, when you find a rock on the beach, why is that rock placed there the way it, that it is? Do you think that's a random event? Or why, for example, trees grow the way they grow? Why plants grow the way they go? You know, there has to be some high purpose or, or, or math involved in this, math and physics codes to why things operate, operate, operating system, operate the way that they do. So the simple, so the simplest illustration of that is an example that I gave because the visual information was informing me of that, particularly on this island. Okay. And that is that go park a car out in the bushes somewhere and just leave it there and, and drive by every day and go, Hey, I can still see the vehicle. Hey, I can still see the vehicle. Hey, I can still feel the vehicle. And you come back, it's gone. Where'd it go? It's still there, but wow, look at all that stuff that grew over it. Now you can measure that in time dilation. How long it's going to take for something to degrade and the speed difference in, in which things grow. And if things are not growing faster than decay, what happens? Bye. Now, when I was a child growing up, I called that entropic programming. Entropic programming. I'm not supposed to experience any entropy. So imagine you're a small child and you already know that. Now I'm back to my father. <laughs> hey, it's because I have to keep my mouth shut. You start sharing what it is that you really know, then the AI knows, then it realizes, whoa, now we're getting into intersections. 
how it knows how to distract you to prevent you from doing the job that it knows that you know how to do because it's it it acknowledges whoa something is in here that is conscious and aware of itself with a soul that's running faster than i am that means you're a threat and that's called a threat analysis that's what the quantum probability function does is assess a threat to their control command architecture okay that's the truth of it. Now we're back to trust no one. So another movie, you might think of it this way. You know, have you ever seen any movies with CIA intelligence agencies like the NSA, the CIA, the FS, what is it, the FSU, the old KGB? KGB is still running, by the way. It's on this island. So these are intelligence agents, and you wouldn't know them. They could be sitting at a Starbucks wearing a standard suit. Remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do which means they can have a butch haircut, talk like you, act like you, walk like you, wear the same clothes as you, and you don't even realize they're there to do surveillance on you to see what you're doing. Penetrate your organization. I know that because they penetrated one of ours. And what do they do? They were wearing long hand, talk the same language, look like us. If you're not reading the train on who the operator is, they're going to come right into wherever you're at. The next thing you know, they look like you and you've been deceived. Okay. So you, it's, this is the way this terrain works when you're in a battle, spiritual battlefield. They're called reads, map reads. They're mapping their DNA and who the operator is of that DNA language. So you can read the level at which they operate it by doing what? Measuring their density. And that tells you something about their spiritual evolution and their learning of how fast they're learning. 